Here with the book, The Dreamer's Dictionary for the 21st Century, is dream coach Kelly Walden. She is a dream therapist and author of I Had the Strangest Dream by Kelly Sullivan Walden. Please welcome Kelly Sullivan Walden. When I ask people about what is their dream life, they have one of two responses. Sometimes um, one response is that they go off on these wild adventures in their mind and they tell me about these great visions that they have of their life and that's great. The other response, some people get kind of protective and, and shut down because it's a little scary for a lot of people to contemplate their dream life. It's like, do I dare open my heart to imagine that I can really have it all, that I could really have love, have great health and wealth and the whole nine yards, little old me? I'm here to say yes. So the three keys to opening your dream life are purpose, passion, and prowess. Say that with me. Purpose, passion, prowess. Purpose, passion, prowess. It sounds kind of good, like a mm, locomotion, purpose, passion, prowess. Three keys to opening your dream life. So purpose, first of all, you've got to know why you're getting up in the morning, why you're doing what you're doing. If you could go way outside of your comfort zone and think of what's the why? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Do I want to serve purpose? Do I want to help children? Do I want to make a difference on this planet? And if so, what is that difference that I want to make? To me, I feel like there's this higher self standing over me that has my higher purpose in mind at all times and it's constantly giving me guidance about which way to turn, who to talk to, what to do in order to bring about my higher purpose. I can fight against it or I can go along with it and we all have that choice. We can either really connect in with why was I born? Why was I put here on this planet at this time? Why am I here? You can connect with that or not but I'm hoping that if you keep listening that you will connect with that. So your purpose, why was I born? Why am I here? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Getting some kind of clarity about what that is. Writing it down, create a vision map, some visual reference of what is your purpose. And then you get into your passion. What, what makes you alive inside of your purpose? I knew a woman once that was doing all kinds of great work with children in Africa but she was exhausted all the time, she was burnt out. And when I talked to her and did some work with her, I got her to reconnect with why she was doing what she was doing. She had to reconnect with her passion, otherwise that woman was gonna burn out. And what a waste that would have been. So she had to find her passion. You've got to find your passion, otherwise the car that you're driving ain't gonna get very far. Passion is the fuel that keeps you going. It's the, it's the what, it keeps you, it keeps you connected to, to your purpose. So once you have your purpose and then you have your passion, then you've got to get connected to your prowess. What is it that you are uniquely good at? What is your particular talent and skill set? Me, for example, I thought it was singing because I love to sing so much. I thought, well, that's got to be why I was born. I could be on American Idol. Oh my goodness. But the reality is I don't have a great ear. I, I have a nice tone in my voice, I've been told, but I go off key a lot when I'm singing. So that's probably not my prowess. But I know that there's some other things that I have been recognized for that are pretty easy and effortless and natural to me, usually P.S. The thing that you're the best at may very well be the thing that you take most for granted. Keep that in mind, that's a clue. So when I was in high school, I was voted most spirited. So there's a picture of me with my mouth wide open with the megaphone in hand and, and pom-poms. And, because it's natural for me, once I connect with, with somebody and when I, when I believe in them, to just say rah, rah, sis, boom, ba, go all the way, keep going, keep going. So I am a natural coach. I'm a natural supporter of people's dreams. That's something that I'm here to do. What is it that you're here to do? What is it that you are uniquely gifted in? What is it that you are passionate about? And what is your higher purpose? Just in contemplating those three questions makes you that much closer to opening up the door to your dream life and having the life of your dreams.